riches of his grace so that in the coming ages he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 2 verse 7. A most astonishing image of Christ's second coming is in Luke 12, 35 to 37, which pictures the return of a master from a marriage feast like this. Stay dressed for action and keep your lamps burning and be like men who are waiting for their master to come home from the wedding feast so that they may open the door to him at once when he knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds awake when he comes. Truly I say to you, he will dress himself for service and have them recline at table and he will come and serve them. We are called servants and that doubt, no doubt means we are to do exactly as we're told. But the wonder of this picture is that the master insists on serving. We may have expected this during Jesus' ministry on earth since he said, the Son of Man came not to be served but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many, Mark 10:45. But Luke 12, 35 to 37 is a picture of the second coming. Why would Jesus be portrayed as a table waiter at the second coming? Because the very heart of his glory is the fullness of grace that overflows in kindness to needy people. God never relinquishes the role of inexhaustible benefactor of his ever-dependent happy people as he showers on us the riches of his grace.